Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. Today I've got a great laser effect that we're going to build. We start with a diffraction grating. Now, diffraction grating is a physics term for uh, a rainbow catcher, different things like that that you can see in the commercial market. Uh, a lot of times you see these rainbow glasses, and oh, these are pretty cool. Actually, these are pretty cool. And they're diffraction gratings. Now, there's two types of diffraction gratings I'm going to talk about. One is called a single axis or a single plane diffraction grating that produces a series of beams that spread out in one plane. Basically, if you took two of those and overlapped them perpendicular to each other, you would have a grid diffraction grating or a dual axis or dual plane diffraction grating. And uh, that's what's in these rainbow glasses. And so you get a big starburst type of effect. You can get the diffraction gratings from rainbowsymphony.com. You can buy the glasses or you can buy sheets of the material. And if you get sheets of the material, you can cut it to your own size. I cut it into circles uh, using a, uh, a button maker circle cutter. It's kind of fun. We're going to shine a laser through this diffraction grating. And when we do, we get a series of patterns. It's pretty cool, pretty easy to do. You shine the laser through, you get a series of beams coming out. And then, using a motorized device, we're going to spin that diffraction grating. And because of a phenomena called persistence of vision, your eye holds an image for a small period of time. And if I can move the laser beam during that period of time, you don't see a dot moving anymore. You see a line. And if I move it fast enough, you see a circle. So you get some nice circles in the air. You can make some tunnels of light, though that's not the best way to make tunnels. But uh, you get some tunnels of light. I was working on one of these one night, and uh, I had built several of them, and I decided to see what would happen if I overlapped a couple of my circles. So I put a second diffraction grating on a second motor, and then shined the laser through one diffraction grating, spun it, and then put the other spinning diffraction grating so that the laser passed through both sets of diffraction gratings. And that's when I got this effect. It was amazing, absolutely astounding. And by changing the relative speed of the spinning motors, I could change the pattern. This was incredible. Now I start off with simple DC motors, and I have a lot of different kinds of DC motors, but I want to get the DC motors that are pretty similar. So they have similar spin rates because it's the relative motion between the two of them that produces the pattern. And I'm looking for pretty much identical velocities. So I wire one up and when I turn it on it spins clockwise and I've changed the wiring so that when I turn them on the other one rotates counterclockwise. If I get them going in the same direction I get an interesting effect but it's not really what I'm looking for. I want them rotating in opposite directions. And then onto one of these I epoxy a Lego attachment onto the motor and when I turn it on they rotate. So I can have my dual axis diffraction gratings, and when they're interacting they produce one type of effect. And I can put together the single axis diffraction gratings, and they're rotating, and they produce another effect. So this is pretty cool, I'll show you these effects, you'll like them. One of the tricks I learned is uh, mounting things to my motors is by using Legos. I will uh, epoxy uh, a Lego piece to my motor, and then I'll hot glue a Lego piece to my diffraction grating, and then I'll just be able to snap my diffraction grating onto my motor, and when I'm done with it, just be able to pop it off again. And then I can interchange my single plane diffraction gratings, see what that does for me with my dual axis diffraction gratings. See what that does for me. The more powerful the laser, the better the pattern. The clearer some of the, the secondary and tertiary dots were now much more visible and so the patterns they were generating much more interesting. For my ultimate effect, which really looks amazing, I'm using a 100 milliwatt Dragon Laser that I got from DragonLasers.com and it was a little pricey but amazing. And uh, there's a lot of other lasers you can use, even down to a little laser pointer, little red laser pointer. This is the pattern is much dimmer. You have to make sure it's real dark. 
This produces what's called a pattern effect. Pattern effect is something that looks better when projected onto a screen. A beam effect, and this does produce a beam effect, but it's not as stunning as others. Uh, this is more effective as a pattern effect. A beam effect is uh, when you can see the beams in the air. You need smoke in the air to see that. And nowadays, that's getting harder and harder to find. When I first started doing laser shows, you'd go to a nightclub and the place was filled with smoke. Nowadays, You've got to spray smoke in the air, get a fog machine or something like that. And there's still some places that won't even allow that. So the beam effect, not as popular. A pattern effect, however, is popular everywhere. It's the kind of thing that you see when you go to Stone Mountain, Georgia, or Darien Lake up here in New York, or any of these big laser shows where there's a large wall and they're projecting pictures on it. And that's a pattern effect. That's what we're going to be creating. This is a great effect. I really love this. I hope you enjoy it too. Thanks for watching.